How to fix a phone with other system data taking up the majority of your memory. Welcome to one of how to smartphone tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be using an iPhone, uh, showing you guys how to get rid of this error or this issue. So right now, as you guys can see, other system data is taking up 23.34 gigabytes of data uh, on this device and out of the available 63. Uh, so it takes up, looks like more than a third of the data is taken up by other um so one of the things you can do to kind of reduce that number is delete any saved messages um any kind of cached information stuff that's being saved or held onto. um you can go into your uh safari page scroll down till you see the safari page and then from safari um you can clear clear history and web website data you can do that get that cleaned out um i've tried all these different steps i've tried to um reset settings different reset all the setting functions and none of that seems to um to work so if you're going into general and you hit the reset um i've tried to erase you know you um reset network settings reset um all settings i try to do everything um and none of that helped none of that seemed to have fixed the problem so uh what we're going to do is i uh, i do have my the phone plugged in i'm gonna i went ahead and backed it up so i plugged it in in order to plug it uh to back it up what you're gonna want to do is open up your finder it pops up right here you click on the iphone um it should open up a page similar to this and under backups you want to back up all the data on your iphone to this mac or computer if you all you need is you need to have itunes on it in order to do this so um, i backed everything up to my computer and i uh, hit backup now so it says uh, it was last backed up to this Mac uh, was today at 345. So I'm going to go ahead and um, so it's now everything that is on here, photos, contacts, everything like that is saved from here onto uh, this Mac. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase all content and settings. So everything that's on this phone is currently going to be deleted, removed, and that's including all that um, wasted memory. Um, so and it says um, photos and data are being uploaded to iCloud. I'm just going to go ahead, just erase everything because I know everything was backed up erase iphone and are you sure you want to erase it yes Ver uh, verification ver verification failed there's an error okay So it was wanting to back up for whatever reason. So I just went ahead and let it do its backing up. Um, I was connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm letting it back up 67% complete. Every time I skipped the upload, it wouldn't let me um, fully continue on with the reset. So I don't know why it was kind of fighting that, but uh, it did. So we'll just let it back up and then we will continue with the reset. So um, it just asked to verify the Apple ID. Once I got the Apple ID verified, uh, it started to do the reset, it clearing everything. As you guys noticed in the background there, everything disappeared. iPhone is no longer one of the things that are plugged in. So it's doing a pretty much a reset, clearing everything off of here, any photos, contacts, anything like that. So I strongly recommend backing everything up because this reset will clear everything and you will not have any information or any data on your phone in order to clear that error. So make sure you back everything up, save all your photos, videos, contacts, everything, save it up. I don't, doesn't matter if it's iCloud, iTunes, uh, onto a Mac, a different computer. The main thing is to have all your stuff saved. So um, once you save everything, do this uh, factory reset, reset all, all the settings, get it back to get, get it back to the hello screen. That way we can start it up. And when I start it up, I will back it up uh, with, using the off the iMac option. So here we are, I went through that reset process and now we are on the hello screen. I'm just gonna go ahead, set this up real quick and uh, we'll get it set up. It's gonna ask for my internet. Let's go ahead, type that in. All right, and then I got my internet typed in. You can go ahead and just join this network. So I got my connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna hit next. Uh, it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. And just like that, went through. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue here. Uh, Face ID set up later in settings. Passcode, I'm not going to add one. One can be added later. Don't use a passcode. Um, and then from right here, apps and data, I'm going to restore from Mac or PC. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Connect to Mac or to a PC with iTunes. It's connected, it's already connected. Um, so now we transfer over here to this screen. And then right here, we are able to see my iPhone. 
gonna go ahead and just select that. It tells me that I'm connected to a computer. Uh, if you have multiple um, phones backed up to your uh, Mac or computer or your PC, it'll let you know. So this one was just uh, backed up as iPhone and it was. It tells me last backed up today at 345. So I'm gonna go ahead, select that, and then I'm gonna hit continue. So now we hit continue, it says restore is in progress. Um, then right up here by the iPhone, it's showing us that it is loading information. Um, so let's go ahead and see, Get wait till everything is backed up to this uh, iPhone. This also may take a little while, 30 minutes, 45, depending on the amount of data that is being transferred. So here's what it looks like on the uh, phone. It says still says restore in progress. Right over here, it gives you a little update of how it's doing. Uh, it's about halfway through right now. So if it's taking a little while, just kind of bear with it. You can watch it, and it'll let you know how far along it is right over here. All right, so now it just popped up. Um, my iPhone here disappeared. That was on there. Everything switched over, and it's starting the device back up. There will be a few more steps to jump through in order to get it to uh, the full uh, home screen to see everything that we had on there, all our contacts, all of our uh, photos, videos, everything should be back on there. We'll double check the storage once everything loads up. So now here we have, uh, it is loaded, loaded up, came to the hello screen. We're gonna swipe up, um, restore completed. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background. That's fine. Uh, Face ID, I'm just gonna go ahead and set that up later in settings. So we'll go ahead, select set up later in settings and passcode. I will hit do not use passcode. Um, don't use passcode. We'll set that up later as well. And we'll go ahead and skip this step. Are you sure you want to skip? We'll skip the iTunes for now. I will hit agree. Terms and conditions, we have to agree. So we got to do that. Disable location services. Hit, uh, we'll set up Siri later. And just like that, we are in. Um, so I'm going to go into here, uh, we'll go into general and I will look at my iPhone storage. So here we have our iPhone taking up all that and 39, so 40 out of 64. Uh, so if we scroll down here to the bottom, um, it's calculating. So we still got the system and then, uh, down here at the bottom, other is now at 1.86 gigabytes instead of. Uh, the 23 or 32, whatever it was, uh, quite a dr dramatic change. So there you guys have it. Um, and all the contacts and photos and everything are in there because uh, it showed us in the iPhone storage that everything here is now uh, set up and fixed. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up, uh, share it with anybody who might be looking for this information. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.